Getting well is serious business at the Jewish General Hospital. But if you think clowns have no place in the healing process, the joke's on you. Since the fall of 2003, the Red Nose Jesters of the Dr. Clown program have been proving that any day can be April Fool's uh, Day. Dr. Clown is a nonprofit charitable organization that was started 10 years ago. Um, and it's professional artists who are specially trained in clown as well as in psychosocial issues to be able to work within a hospital context. Dr. Fifi and Dr. Spring make the rounds every Wednesday to bring joy to patients who don't have a lot to smile about. In fact, Dr. Clown is one of the most popular JGH programs to emphasize humanization of care and is organized by the auxiliary. En fait, tout le but euh, de, de Dr. Clown, en fait, c'est euh, globalement de redonner le pouvoir aux patients. But JGH clowns aren't just any clowns. Hospital clowning is different than regular circus clowning. Improvisational skills are essential, since hospital clowns must be able to quickly gauge each new situation to determine whether the patient considers the clowning to be welcome or intrusive. On peut euh, faire partie d'un traitement ou d'une réhabilitation ou euh, accompagner un enfant qui a peur des aiguilles, ben, transformer euh, le fait de se faire piquer en jeu, puis à un moment donné, ben, la peur de l'aiguille va se mettre à disparaître. Participants in the Dr. Clown program are also given a solid grounding in hospital procedures and an awareness of the hospital environment. For me, it's uh, after, after 10 years, even more than 10 years, um, the fact that it's something that I'm still very passionate about uh, says to me that um, I'm in the right place, doing the right thing, and that um, it's, it's very meaningful work. <laughs> For JGH TV, this is Astrid Mohan. Hallelujah. Oh. <laughs>